Hello. <laughs> we always do this clap. Out. And uh, they took us early. They took us early. That's so right. you, it shows how we get pumped. And we, we do. Up for we this. do. Um, actually, a lot of people are pumped up this morning. You know why? Yeah. People have lottery fever. <laughs> Nobody won last night. So overnight, the Powerball jackpot growing now to six hundred and eighty million dollars after no one won during last night's drawing. It is now, guys, the seventh largest jackpot in Powerball Ooh. history. Now we still have a ways to go before we break the record for largest. You may remember back in 2016, we had a nearly $1.6 billion prize that set the record. You might remember a billion dollar prize was sold in South Carolina in 2018 as well. But if you want to win, you got to play. Now, you keep touching. I was like, what is happening right now? My money, huh? I'm like, what is going on with your mic? You got money hidden. Um, now is your time to get the tickets. The next drawing set for tomorrow. If you're lucky enough to win on Wednesday, you could take the cash value. Take a look at Larry Sprinkle. Oh, you missed it. $326 million. There it is. Lots of big money. Don't get too hopeful. Your chances of winning one in 292 million. So this morning, we want to know if you had to give away $1 million of your winnings, just a measly $1 million, who would you give the cash to? We want to hear from you. Comment below. You missed it. Uh, Larry, you need to do your ditty again because, yes. <laughs> like, where do you find these pops? I think uh, they left this from the um, Bozo bus last year. <laughs> I think this is from the Bozo this is bus. Big money, oh, right? yeah. No, Helen was. Yeah. Um, okay, so our question this morning if you won, what would you do? I think the thing we always ask is, like, would you keep working? Would you quit your job? Would you move? Uh, but this morning we wanted to ask something different. If you could give away just a measly million of your winnings, yeah. who would you give that to? So we did get some responses to that particular question this morning. Um, one person saying, I will give $1 million to my childhood elementary school. That's I love so nice. that, isn't it? A few people said St. Jude. Someone else saying the Humane Society of Charlotte. Uh, someone else saying, I would... Uh, this is really small font. I need my glasses. There are a few friends I would give uh, money to, but I would definitely to restore buildings. No, and Stonewall I wasn't Jackson. reading that one. No. I was reading this one here. Uh, million, to, oh, huma, another Humane Society of Charlotte. Okay, Humane you read Society. that one because it's closer right. to you. <laughs> so if I won a million, I would fund the city of Concord to restore the buildings of Stonewall Jackson and make them homes for victims wow. of. Uh, intimate, intimate partner, partner violence. violence. Well, very Stonewall nice. Jackson and temporary housing for the homeless. Speaking of the homeless, you see all these videos where people go around giving money to homeless. I think that would be such a cool thing to do. Just uh, handing out thousands of dollars. So I think that would be a really fun way of And there's a lot of great organizations here locally, shelters, that are helping them with clothing, to find a job, to do resumes, to give them food, to help the kids. So, so you get a million. If that's going to be the you, get a, car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. ones who won all that money. Well, too. you never hear what they. Some no, people lose all the money. No, there is a documentary oh, and uh, what mm -hmm. they do. And it's most good, people, it's yeah. Most people, it, it never goes well. It's like right. the curse of the. But I would be happy to change that uh, streak <laughs> if. Um, <laughs> no cursing for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people, you know, um, we've asked before, like, would you guys? The bosses are watching. Would you keep working? Would you just say? I would. You know, I would buy the station. Yeah. And, and give oh, everybody a raise. Yes, Larry yeah. Sprinkle. I love my new yeah. boss. Um, yes. I, I think that's pretty interesting too. We were talking about this morning, Larry. If you now, is it if you buy a ticket or if you live in South Carolina? Yeah. Which one? If you buy, buy a ticket. If you buy a ticket. If you buy a ticket. Yeah. Okay, but if you live it, so if you live in North Carolina, you, you can drive this South Carolina. You don't have to say your name, but in North Carolina, you, you have do, to buy right? The if you buy a ticket in South Carolina, yeah. you don't have to revolve your identity. Yeah. It's nice. Your so, yeah, if Reveal. you're so confident in the 1 in 290 million odds, drive the extra distance to South Carolina to keep your privacy. Yes, but if you don't care, you want everyone to know, people will be calling you up. You want to donate to this and that. Um, that we, you can buy a ticket in North Carolina. The question you just asked all the time, and years ago, I was like, no, I'll keep working. Now, at this point, I was like, I'm sorry. Well, you got a baby now, and you're yeah, tired. Yeah, at this point, I was like, <laughs> getting over $300 million cash. Uh, mm. Yeah, that 2 a.m. wake-up call. What if I don't have to do it? Well, I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, I'll, Melissa, give a, I'll give a well notice. Yes. Uh, Melissa Banks saying, I would donate the millions to MS Research, so Frank. a cure 
could be found for my sister. That's amazing. I think a lot of people have um, channel, so. and ch uh, charities, organizations really close to their heart that but they would really, donate to. I would like to know what these people have done with their money. They've spent ever, it. There is a documentary. Has anyone ever given to charity? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, but I, I think so. people get greedy and they buy like, uh, you know, a brand new home, car, and then they try to live that extravagant lifestyle but they can't million. they they spend it all I they spend it all spend all that at one time i don't understand that i know it's crazy yeah. larry sprinkle yeah. i'm gonna look up Why what that what that documentary is all right keep those comments mm. coming let us know if you won the lottery what would you do this could be you and if you were to give some of that money away what charity would you give it to these guys are crazy here but we'll see you back here tomorrow morning on wake up charlotte to go you Good can't luck. win if you don't buy a ticket.